Welcome, everybody. My name is Reed Blakemore, Deputy Director of the Atlantic Council Global Energy Center, and we're here again at the first ever City Summit of the Americas doing a series of leadership spotlight interviews with mayors, key officials from across the hemisphere to talk about how their energy transition and sustainability strategy is reshaping the cities they work in. I'm here today with Nancy Sutley, the Deputy Mayor for Energy, Energy and Sustainability for the City of Los Angeles. Nancy, thank you for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. So, you know, the, the big question we've been asking everybody here is, what does, you know, your sustainability and energy transition strategy look like? What are the key projects that you're hoping to build out in this year and beyond? Obviously, Los Angeles is a, is a leader in this space, so I'm sure you have a lot to share. Well, thanks, yeah. So, uh, Los Angeles has had a climate plan for probably 25 years, but really in the last, since 2015, is really focused on sustainability, mm -hmm. on uh, environment, uh, economy, and the society, mm -hmm. uh, looking at how climate change is affecting the city, mm -hmm. but also how we can respond to climate change. And so, in 2019, uh, the city released its LA's Green New Deal mm -hmm. with the goal to get to net zero by 2050. Mm -hmm. And really in that is around a set of zeros. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, a zero carbon electric grid mm -hmm. that helps lead to zero carbon buildings and zero carbon transportation. Los Angeles is uh, unusual but not unique among American cities in, in that the city owns the power grid. Yeah. Uh, so that gives us a lot of control uh, over uh, what, how our electricity is produced. Mm -hmm. And so uh, LA has been increasing its use of renewable energy mm -hmm. and really now has a strategy to get 100% clean energy by 2035. And we worked with one of the Department of Energy labs, mm -hmm. the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, to really list out like what are the investments that are necessary to get to that 100% mm -hmm. uh, clean grid. Yep. And what that does also is it really enables us to attack um, climate uh, forcing emissions from the transportation sector mm -hmm. and from our buildings as well. And so 100% uh, carbon-free grid can get you to 100% carbon-free transportation mm -hmm. and 100% carbon-free buildings, and that's what we're working towards. Talk to me a little bit about the, the carbon-free transportation piece. Obviously, you know, not just the city of Los Angeles, but the, the whole of Los Angeles County and frankly, uh, all of Southern California ways, it's a big car culture, right? How, are, how is the city working to you know, incentivize the electrification of transportation? How does, what does that look like in practice for you right now? Yeah, well, it's a critical issue for Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as we love our cars, and we do, uh, they also are the major uh, source, not just of greenhouse gas emissions, mm -hmm. but of smog forming mm -hmm. pollutants. And smog has plagued Los Angeles for, for many generations. And to win the war against smog, we have to get the pollution out of transportation. Mm -hmm. So it's about cleaning up our passenger cars, but also about cleaning up trucks and buses mm -hmm. and all of the equipment that runs around. So the city is doing a number of different things to help uh, incentivize people to get out of their uh, fossil fuel burning mm -hmm. cars and into an electric vehicle, uh, providing incentives and rebates for, uh, for electric vehicle chargers and in some cases for the vehicles themselves mm -hmm. or for used electric vehicles and things like that. Uh, and also helping people who don't have access to a car, mm -hmm. uh, can't afford a car. So uh, we have a, an electric vehicle car share program mm -hmm. uh, run by the city that uh, was really aimed at low income Angelinos mm -hmm. uh, who may not be able to afford uh, not just an electric vehicle, or a ve but a vehicle, uh, any vehicle. Uh, so that really helps people who want to get into that zero emission mm -hmm. uh, transportation mode. And then on the heavy duty side, uh, both in uh, our transit buses mm -hmm. are, are going electric. Uh, so by 2030, uh, LA Metro, the regional transit provider, has a goal to get to 100% electric buses. Uh, and also, uh, Los Angeles uh, is home to the largest port mm -hmm. in the US, the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. And they are a significant contributor 
uh, to greenhouse gas pollution and smog pollution. And so electrifying everything you can electrify at the port and then figuring out other ways to get rid of the remaining emissions, that's all part of the strategy. Part of the strategy, I love the way you framed it, winning the war against smog. It's, it's absolutely necessary it, it, and it's a great. If we were it's looking about for, time. It's about time we did that. Uh, you know, one last question, and I, I think this is particularly interesting when we're, this is the city summit. We have, we have municipal leaders from you know, across the hemisphere, but I think one of the interesting features uh, in the city of Los Angeles is, you know, uh, energy transition, climate action story is, you know, you have an incredibly ambitious municipal government, you have an incredibly ambitious state government in Sacramento, and you also have an incredibly ambitious federal government back in Washington, D.C. How do, what does that coordination look like between your efforts and the various initiatives you see coming out of Sacramento and Washington? Yeah, it's, well, it's a great partnership, mm -hmm. and it has to be a great partnership, and everybody has their role to play. I mean, at the state level, for sure, in California, there are strong complementary policies, uh, policies uh, to you know increase the amount of renewable energy that's mm -hmm. used in California, uh, now uh, a regulation to uh, ban the sale of internal combustion engine passenger cars mm -hmm. starting in 2035, so those all uh, help to support mm -hmm. uh, what we're doing in Los Angeles. And then, of course, at the federal level, uh, while we would love to see ambitious, uh, sweeping climate legislation, the money is just about as good. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, you know, we're excited about accessing mm -hmm. uh, money that's coming from the Department of Transportation mm -hmm. and the Department of Energy and the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, and also, you know, glad to see the federal government um, taking this whole of government approach because uh, we do work with many different uh, departments and so even things like you know how we think about land use and housing and what the role uh, that the federal government can play in encouraging kind of more su sustainable forms of land use. Mm. Uh, those are all important things that will help us achieve our goals. Absolutely. So uh, just to wrap up here, you know, we've obviously the city of Los Angeles is doing a whole lot here. Any any big things that you want to leave our audience with, or any any takeaways you're having from this city, this first city uh, summit of the Americas? Yeah, I mean, I think the the energy and the enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we see this all the time. We belong to a number of uh, city networks around mm -hmm. climate change, both domestically and internationally, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and I know what's happening here happens in those networks where cities learn from each other. So, you know, s some cities are very different than Los Angeles, but a lot of the cities even here uh, who have similar climates, have uh, similar, you know, themes in their economies, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just a great way to share information, to share best, best practices, and mayors do that all the time, and they love to, uh, to uh, Imitate, copy, <laughs> steal uh, ideas from uh, from other cities, and and we are all all encountering the same issues. Mm -hmm. it turns out, deputy mayors like to like to do that convening and interaction too. It seems, and I'm, we're absolutely thrilled to see how all the work that you're doing, the wonderful leadership that you're showing by being here. And so, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, and we look forward to seeing what comes next in uh, the city of Los Angeles' decarbonization story.